Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're just going to look at a uh, challenging pH calculation questions with dilution problems. So let's just raise the question together. There are two parts. This is part one, and then this is part two. So for the first part, we have 40 mils of 0.25 molar BaOH2, which is a strong base and made up to a large diluted solution. You add lots of water and then cause a pH change of 1.1. And we're just trying to figure out what is x values. We're just trying to figure out how much water you added into the solution. So they told you the pH change equals to 1.1. We first of all need to work out whether the pH change, whether we have an increase in pH or whether we have a decrease in pH when we add water. So here is our neutral solution. With pure water and the pH equals to 7. And then here is our base. So base have very high pH values. And then when you add water towards the base, when we add water towards the base, you dilute the solution. Okay. And then the pH is actually going to decrease. Okay. The pH is going to decrease. Okay. Yeah. That's the first thing we need to know. And now uh, let's calculate the initial pH because we have all the information we need to calculate the initial pH. We have 0 0.25 molar BaOH2. And then BaOH2, this is a diabasic di base. Okay. So diabasic base just means one mole of the base you provide uh, provide you two moles of the OH minus. Because when the base dissolves into water, you get the Ba2 plus plus 2 OH minus. So if you have 0 0.25 molar of the base, the OH minus final concentration will be 2 multiplied by that, which is 0 0.5 molar. And now let's calculate the pH. So we know pH plus pOH equals to 14. And then we also know pOH is defined as the negative log of the OH minus concentration. So if we plug this back into here, make pH the subject, we know pH is just going to equals to 14 plus log OH minus concentration. So this is a very useful formula okay, to directly convert the OH minus concentration to a pH value. So we just plug this back into here. So 14 plus log 0 0.5 gives us 13.70. So every single step, I round my pH to two decimal place. Okay. Yeah, to two decimal place. So now that's this. This is my initial pH without adding any water. Yeah. Yeah, so my initial pH without adding anything in, it's thirteen point seven zero. They told us when we add some water in, it caused a pH change of one point one. We know the pH is going to decrease. Okay, the pH value is going to towards the seven. So the final pH after decrease by 1.1 is just going to equal to 13.70 minus 1.1, which gives us 12.60. Okay, so this is our final pH values. The final pH values tells us information about H plus concentration and OH minus concentration. Okay. So if you want, you can work out the H plus concentration which is 10 to the power of minus 12.6. But we don't really need that. All we want is OH minus, OH minus concentration. So OH minus concentration, we need to figure out the pOH. Because pH plus pOH equals to 14, so pOH just equals to 1.4. Right? 12.6 plus 1.4 does give you a 14. So the OH minus concentration equals to 10 to the power of minus 1.4. And then we just need to convert the OH minus concentration yeah, back to the concentration of the base. Okay. So we know the base D 
dissociate into the solution and then form Ba2 plus and then 2 OH minus. So if the OH minus concentration is 10 to the power of minus 1.4 and then the base concentration is just going to equal to 10 to the power of minus 1.4 divided by 2 because look at the balanced equation you see there's a 1 to 2 stoichiometry ratio. So the concentration of the base is 10 to the power of minus 1.4 divided by 2 which is 0.02 molar. Okay, this one here is 0.04 molar. So we know the concentrations and we just need to find out the volume. Okay, so just going to use the dilution formula. So for all the dilutions, we can use C1V1 equals to C2V2. So the amount of moles before and after dilution is exactly the same. So C1 we know it from the question, the original concentration 0 0.25, the original volume 40. Okay. So both of these numbers are read directly from the question, which is just over here. So 40 mil and 0 0.25 molar. Okay. So that's my initial concentration, initial volume. And then the final concentration, I just calculated that this is 0 0.02 molar. So I just need to calculate the final volume. Okay, so just V2 equals to 0 0.25 multiplied by 40 divided by 0 0.2, which gives us 500 mil. Okay. So the final volume is 500 mil. The initial volume is 40. How much water do we add? So water added will just equal to 500 minus 40, which gives us 460 mil. Okay. So we just finished the first part. The amount of water you need to add is 460 mil. So our x equals to 0 0.46 liters. Okay. So that's the value for x. Okay. And now let's move on to the next part and then figure out the value for y. Okay. So value for y is an acid dissociation question. And then let's have a look at the next part. Okay. And I'll use a brand new page to start the questions again. Okay. So again, without further ado, let's start with the initial pH calculation okay, first. So we have a uh, sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. Okay. This is also a strong acid. And it is also diprotic. Diprotic means one mole of the acid provides you two moles of H plus. So if the acid concentration is 0 0.4, so if our acid concentration is 0 0.4, then the H plus concentration will be 0 0.8. And now once we have the H plus concentration ready, we can just directly calculate our pH. pH equals to minus log H plus concentration, which is minus log 0 0.8, which gives us 0 0.10. Okay, just directly round it to two decimal place. Now they told us course of pH change of 1.1 when we add water. So we just need to think about it. This pH value, when we add water, okay, when we add water to acidic solution, pH equals to 7 is here. This is neutral. Okay, pH equals to 1.1 is here. This is acidic. Okay. So if acidic become less acidic, you need to add water. Okay. So when you're adding water to an acid solution, the pH actually increase. Okay. pH will increase when you add water to acidic solution. So that change of pH means a positive change. So the pH change is yeah 1.1. Therefore, we know the pH final equals to 1.1 plus 0 0.1, which is 1.2. Okay. So the final pH equals 1.2. Oh, sorry, I just made a really silly typo. This is 0 0.1. Okay, so my uh, my original pH start with 0 0.1. 
and then increase by 1.1. The final pH landed over here as 1.2. Once we have the final pH, now let's convert it into the H plus concentration. So pH equals to minus log H plus. Rearrange this equation, make H plus the subject. H plus equals to 10 to the power of minus pH. Okay, so that's our H plus concentrations. And then from the diprotic acid formula, we can see H plus and the acid there is a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay. So this is acid, this is our H+. plus. It's a 1 to 2 ratio. If the H plus concentration is 10 to the power of minus 1.2, right, 10 to the power of minus pH, which is 10 to the power of minus 1.2, and we will be able to figure out the acid concentration. Okay? So you, you just simply divide by a 2. Okay? If we just divide by a 2, then the concentration will be 10 to the power of minus 1.2 divided by 2, which gives us 0.0315 molar. Okay. 0.0315 molar, so that's our final concentration of the acid. Okay. And now again, apply the dilution formula one more time. C1V1 equals to C2V2. The number of moles before and after stay the same. So the concentration before and the volume before, we just need to read from the question, which is right over here. 50 mil, 0.4 molar. Okay, just read it over here. So the concentration equals to 0.4. The volume is 50. And then the new concentration, we just work it out from here, give us 0.0315. And then we can solve for V2. So V2 equals to 0.4 multiplied by 50 divided by 0 0.0315. So just need to chuck all of these numbers into your calculator. You should get 635 mil. 635 mil. And yeah, so once we figure out the final volumes, and then we know the initial volume is 50, the amount of water added. Just equals to V2 minus V1, which is 635 minus 50, which gives us 585 mil. Okay. So now we can conclude our Y values. The amount of water added just equals to 0 0.585 liter. Okay. So clearly, Y is larger than X. Okay. Y is larger than X. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks guys for watching.